What's up guys, Karen Ramos here on Under the Moon, here on 91.1 The Globe, and I have the pleasure to sit with the Accidentals today. Yeah. We got Katie, Savannah, and Michael with us today. Thank you guys for being here, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, this is awesome. I, this is your guys' third time in Goshen? It is. So. First day yeah. of our second leg of tour, so we are fresh nice. somewhat. <laughs> How are you guys liking the town so far? Liked it a lot. We went to Lux Lux's Cafe. Lux Cafe. I'm I'm messing this up already. <laughs> uh, crepes. They were very good. Yeah. They have the best crepes. That's Usually. what I always order. I mean, we yeah, base so most good. of our touring experience on the food that we eat. So, mm -hmm. uh, so far, ten out of ten. Would do again. Yeah, really I know good. food is a big uh, thing here for Katie, at least, right? I've seen your Instagram. It's full of like yeah. food porn. So, what is the best meal you've had on tour, and where was it at? Oh, gosh. You know. Uh, I hate to say it, but like sometimes the best meals when we're on the road is when we'll stay at someone's house and they'll cook us dinner or cook us breakfast. Why would you hate to say that? <laughs> I mean, like, we're not, I can't promote like a certain restaurant off the top of my head, oh, but yeah. like there are so many people who cook us. Like, I like to say that this last tour we got off of was the coffee cake tour because I think we got like three or four coffee cakes through the van at any given point, you know? There's a place in Madison, Wisconsin? Yeah, I was gonna say that I think it's called like La Tequera or something uh, like that. La Tequera. <laughs> I don't know, I, it's not Taqueria, I know that. Huh. But it's like a Venezuelan food restaurant. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like amazing. Yeah. And then it's like, it's also very hard to beat like Texas barbecue when you're down in Texas, like it's the real deal. I so. prefer the Austin street tacos. Those are always <laughs> pretty good. Never go wrong with those. Yeah. I've yeah. had those. And so, okay, so I know you two met in high school. So how did you guys meet Michael? Like, wh when did you guys decide, like, we need a third person and Michael's gonna be that third person? Well, I was a fan before I was mm -hmm. in the band. Oh, so okay. I saw them at a music festival and, um, like, kind of awkwardly had, like, a little bit of interaction. Um, and then we kind of started talking uh, over, like, Facebook and, and texting, because I was at college and they were on the road. And then what it was like, you guys were saying, you sent me, like, a song. No, 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 no. You. Forgot to tell us that you played drums for an entire year. So then you hit me up out of the blue. I put out like a song on SoundCloud just for fun. And you were like, hey, can I put drums on that? I'm like, I've been looking for a drummer for an entire year and a half, and you're just now telling me you play drums. So that's how we found out. And then Michael was going to Belmont at the time, and we asked him to come like, do a one off gig on Mackinac Island, which is like an island in Michigan that has no cars. It's only like horse-drawn carriages and walking. And so uh, we told Michael not to bring a drum kit. We were like, can you just like bring this box and play it? And he's like, I guess I can do that. And he did that for a long time as a result. And then recently upgraded to the drum kit. Yeah. But I'll, I still pull out the drums. Yeah. Every now and again. When One I need box. to be a little, a little quieter of a drummer. <laughs> All right, and so one question I do have, because I was stalking your Instagrams oh, and yeah. based social medias, and I came across one picture. I don't remember whose it was. I don't know if it was Katie's or Savannah's, but one of you took a picture in a bathroom, and the background to that bathroom seemed exactly like your album cover. Oh, yeah. It's me. It was it yours? Yeah, yeah. And it, that is our album. Okay, so funny thing about that is... Uh, we were desperately looking for an album cover. We had just signed with Sony Masterworks and we'd done this whole album. We were like, okay, well, we don't have a cover. And so uh, we were getting really desperate. We were at South by Southwest at the time and the house that we were staying at had this weird map decal in their bathroom. So like as a joke, I, like, I took a picture and put it on my Instagram. I was like, hey, look at this weird map. And then um, it ended up being like, oh, that map really ties into the whole message behind Odyssey, which is like kind of a journey and like, we travel all over the world and do music, and so it tied in. And I like remember we went to a Walmart at 1 a.m. after a gig. We bought a camera with a like a gift card a fan had given us for Walmart, and we went back to the house. And our manager sat in the sink and took a picture of us in front of this map, and uh, we sent it to Sony, and that ended up being the album cover. So wow, that's yeah, all started from that Instagram Crazy. picture. That's so creative. So All right, so enough with the questions. Let's get to playing some like a fun game. So we're gonna be playing who's more likely to, and these can be hypotheticals or they can be realistic. It's, I'll let you guys decide. So I'm just gonna ask a couple questions and you guys just let me know who you guys like nominate, okay? Oh, yeah. Sounds, Sounds good. Go. <laughs> All right, so who needs to be included in every conversation? 
Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Uh, I don't know. I had a moment on the last tour where like I was all the way in the far back and like all the <laughs> were occupied. And at one point, I just like couldn't handle it, and I like crawled all the way over <laughs> <to> the front. <laughs> and I was like, "Hi guys, and they're like, do you need something?" I was like, "I need attention right now." <laughs> yeah. All right, next one. So, who's most likely to be a who's most likely to coach a kids soccer team and be way too into it? Wait. Okay, well, I do play, I do play <laughs> soccer. I do play soccer, but I feel like you would be like the way too into it. Like, go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. If I ever have kids, that might be true, but I'd probably be like more of the sideline parent fan. Oh, yeah, oh, that's oh. true. Coach anything other than like drums. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'd probably coach them. If I'm the coach of your kid's soccer team, like, you should take your kid to a <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. See, Okay, so I'd probably be coaching, he'd probably be screaming at me from the sideline. Yes, that would yep. probably okay. be. Okay, and then you would probably be like with a goat somewhere, right? Yeah, I'd be way. I'd be snacks. eating a hot dog. Yeah. Like. Oh, yeah, she does bring the snacks. Totally. All right, well, 20 years from now, we'll do an interview and we'll figure out. Oh, perfect. <laughs> to the coaches. Perfect. All right, so who thinks reality TV is real? If it was going to be one of If I had to yeah. choose to be Katie. Yep, reality okay. TV is definitely real. It's real. <laughs> real. It's real, Katie. What's your favorite reality TV show? Um, um, wait, Canada's Worst Handyman. Yeah, <laughs> Sam Watch is really good. We also really love watching bad uh, cooking TV shows, um, and we just entered, uh, when we were at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, uh, part of the festival was um, like a salsa making competition, and so oh, we like amazing. submitted like a accidental like spicy hot sauce recipe, and Sav and I were like prepping in her kitchen at home before we left, chop style, we're like, here's our to-do list, everyone's <laughs> doing this, and we practiced, we like timed ourselves, and we're like chopping <laughs> up pineapples and stuff, so intense. we were really getting into it, yeah. What did you guys come in? We don't know. Yeah. We, it ends up like, I think nobody really won, but we're the only band who got to wear flower crowns, so I think we might have. You guys were the winners. We might have. Yeah. <laughs> so. You guys were the winners. Like, yeah. yeah. Definitely. We're All the right. spiciest, I would say. Yeah. Who's most likely to have a three hour conversation about space? Definitely yeah. Savannah. So, are, you, are you the NASA fan? Yeah, I am. Why? My Sorry. grandfather actually um, worked for NASA at one point. Like he was the head of a company called Borg Warner, and they helped put the they helped execute the Viking Four mission to Mars. So I've been really tied into that whole space thing since then, and I absorb sci-fi like osmosis. I'm a weirdo about it, so yeah. It's only me. All right. So who has never, never broken the law? Oh. Wait, are you pointing to Savannah or me? Savannah. Why me? <laughs> oh, yeah, I probably haven't, actually. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, I can't remember breaking the law. So although, the, although, if you come down to it, like, Savannah's pretty rebellious, I feel like. So I don't know about, like, breaking the <laughs> law, but <laughs> in terms of, like, society, you know, there Savannah's was, like... Great. We were at a festival in, in Michigan <laughs> called the Man. And uh, she decided she was going to go climb a tree, oh. and I yelled at her, hey, you probably shouldn't climb that tree, and she yells at me, you can't tell me what to do, and then a volunteer at the festival was like, ma'am, could you please get out of the tree? Okay, I feel like these questions are personally attacking me. I've been called out so many times, apparently, like, I'm a soccer coach, and, like, I don't so funny. the law, and, like, I talk about space. <laughs> Although, all of us, like, you know, we're, like, super tame, like, we're not crazy at all. So I think Katie's like definitely the one, though, for me, at least. I would choose Katie. So, who is more, okay, who will argue with anyone about anything? <laughs> What's so funny is that Savannah was just having a Facebook argument. I, know, I believe that since you were just having a political <laughs> argument with someone on your Yes, phone. I was. Oh my god. Moving on. Oh my god, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. I'll skip this one because I'm assuming it's Savannah. <laughs> Alright, who's always right? <laughs> Everyone raises it. <laughs> yeah, probably Michael. Yeah, honestly. true. <laughs> With that tree anecdote, I'm sure. Oh, so yeah. Like the right guy yeah, I mean, I'll know it's wrong, but I'll do it anyway. He just <laughs> Savannah will win the argument. And, yeah. We'll win the argument. <laughs>
Who spends hours deciding where to get food? Mmm. Yes. I, I, it takes me a long time to decide. She hunts with a knit. It's like, bring it all in and then make all my decisions. Analyze all the options. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Read the reviews, yes. you know. Safety ratings, everything. What I'm going to feel like tomorrow. Yeah. Food I'm exactly. Mm. What I've eaten for the past I'm week like, and how it's going to affect done. my digestive <laughs> yeah. system. It's really like, had time. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Who's okay, this one? I don't know if this will work out since we're all in a fan, but who sings but really shouldn't? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, my voice is like natural 3K tendency of really annoying sounds and Evan has to like EQ the crap out of every night and maybe it'd just be easier if I'm not. <laughs> Honestly. Right. Who would risk their life for an epic selfie? I feel like this is unfair after the selfie. <laughs> <laughs> unfair. I would not risk my life. Well, if I were like the Grand King and maybe I would. Savannah would risk her life but accidentally. Like she's almost <laughs> fallen off mountains before but I have. just, you know, yeah, just for the adventure of it. Yeah. yeah. I would think I would know what I was saying. So you know. now you said the word accidentally. I know the story behind like your guys' um, na group name, but can you guys kind of elaborate on it a little bit for viewers who don't know? Yeah, the band name, it works on many levels. Um, mm -hmm. The reason that we love most is the music pun because Savannah and I, you know, we're orc dorks, we love music theory, and an accidental in music theory is like a note that doesn't belong in the key signature but sounds good anyway. And so we feel like that's the way we belong because we kind of like go in and out of different genres and pick different aspects of each one. But on top of that, we met accidentally, uh, both volunteering for a project and we're super accident prone. Constantly things are falling over and getting broken and yeah, you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, we'll have one, we'll do one last one. Do you guys wanna pick the last one? Okay, you pick. Yep. I'm feeling good about this one, guys. All right. Who is, is really gonna, gonna do, do it, it tomorrow? tomorrow? <laughs> oh, that's yep. Like, who's oh, that's, really gonna that's, do it that's, tomorrow? That's definitely. Yeah, I think so. I, I yeah, my first, the best procrastinator. Like, I will put stuff up. I've been getting a little bit better, but like, <laughs> you know, I just I will I will find excuses to not do something today. Yeah, Katie True. and I are just like we're workaholics. We're just like get it done, and it, like we sacrifice our health. True. For it and yeah. We're just really dumb about it, but it it gets done. So yay. Well, and I think that comes from like being a perfectionist too. Like a lot of the reasons I'll put something off is because I don't have everything that I need in front of me, and I'm like, until I get that one piece, I can't do any of it. I'm like that too, though. <laughs> All right. Well, well, thank you guys for giving us your time and giving our viewers the pleasure of getting to know you guys a little bit better. And thank you for sitting here with me today. Yeah. I hope you guys have a fun rest of your tour and get home safely and. Fun at the concert community. But yeah, thanks for joining us here under the moon at 91.1 The Globe. I'm Karen Ramos, and I'll see you next time.